Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole and I have a five month old little girl. It took my husband and I almost four years to get her. We had four years of infertility and I did document that whole journey on my channel if you'd like to see it. So for today's video, I just wanted to do an update on Oakland. She's five months old. She turned five months on Wednesday. This is Monday of the following week. And obviously I'm five months postpartum, so I just wanted to catch you up on everything. <clears throat> I don't even remember. I think I did a three month update. Um, but so just do postpartum for me. I feel great. I feel back to my normal self. We're sleeping, back to work. Um, everything is going really well. I um, gained 50 pounds <laughs> while I was pregnant with her and I am down to my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, which is great. I still have some, um, like, flabby skin, I don't loose skin, I guess you should call it, <laughs> um, like, in my stomach, but, um, yeah, I don't even care. I'm just glad that I have her, so whatever. I have stretch marks on my stomach from gaining so much weight with her, but I honestly don't even care. I would do it over and over again because I have my beautiful daughter, so... Um, yeah, everything is great with me. I had a rough patch in the very beginning with hormones. Um, if you watched some of my videos, I struggled with postpartum anxiety. Um, it was really, really bad for the first um, month, almost two months, and um, slowly everything evened out, and I feel back to normal. I feel great. Um, I love being a mom. I love having my daughter. It's just so amazing. Um, but anyway, let's get into her update. So we went to the pediatrician a few weeks ago for her um, four-month appointment, and she weighed 13 pounds, 10 ounces. Um, she was 10 pounds, well, 9 pounds, 15 ounces when she was born. So um, I thought for sure she was like 15 pounds by now, honestly, because she's heavy. <laughs> and she's really long. Um, how long is she? Oh, I don't even remember. I don't know, but she's really long. She is totally out of her zero to three month clothing. Um, she's into the three to six month clothes because she is so long. And we, when we went to our appointment, they told me that I could start feeding her oatmeal. Um, we've done it just like a small spoonful, um, like once a day. I don't give it to her every single day. Honestly, because when I get home, I'm like rushing around trying to do things and I want to give her the oatmeal before bed, but a lot of times I forget, so I feed her her bottle and then she doesn't want it after that. So if I do remember, we do it before her bottle and I don't know if it's because she's really hungry and she just wants her bottle that she's not really into the oatmeal. Usually like the first bite or two, she's real good. And then after that, it's just like she gets her tongue in the way and it's just like a mess and she, I can tell she just doesn't like the taste. It smells awful, so um, I mix it with her milk, but I think I might just end up putting it in her bottle just so that she's getting it before bed. Maybe it'll help her like sleep longer. I don't know, but um, they told me not to start giving her fruits and vegetables until her next appointment, which will be um, next month, but I gave her a little taste of applesauce the other day, and she liked it, and I gave her a little bite of um, I made like this fluff, it's, um, Cool Whip and pineapple and, um, pudding mix. And I just gave her like the, I actually put on my finger the tiniest bit, gave it to her and she seemed to like it. So I think that I, I actually did buy, um, banana baby food. It's banana, apple and oatmeal. So I might just start giving her a little bit of that maybe like a couple times a week, but I don't know. So she is starting to eat some food. She's gaining weight. She's getting longer. Um, she's into the next size of clothes. She has rolled over. So like I said, she turned five months on Wednesday. So Tuesday, um, <clears throat> she goes to daycare during the day while I'm at work. And then my parents pick her up around like 1.30, 1 1.45. And I don't get out of work until 4.30. So, um, my parents watch her until I get out of work and my mom sent me like four videos and I immediately knew it was her rolling over. Um, 
I just knew that was going to happen. That I was not, like Harlow and I was not going to be around because we both work um, whenever she starts rolling. But I am glad that my mom got it on camera and that she was with my parents whenever that happened. So, um, but now she like, as soon as you lay her down on her back, she's flopped over onto her stomach. She actually, <laughs> the other day I was changing her and um I turned my back to grab something and she had rolled over on the changing pad and I'm like girlfriend <laughs> not good so um yeah we actually had to put some of her stuff away um she doesn't fit in her dock anymore um her swing she was actually rolling over onto her stomach in the swing I would put her in that while I went to start my car in the morning and I would be out there for like 10 15 seconds and i'd come in and she'd be on her stomach like this is just not safe i know you're supposed to buckle them in it but she just screamed when i would do that so i never did buckle her but um it's just not safe to have her in that anymore so we put that away put the dog tot away um we had a boppy lounger she's just too big for that i put that away and then oh we had a diaper genie downstairs um when she was first born for the first um about three months we had a little changing station in our living room and we changed her there. But now that she's older, we just bring her up in our nursery. So put the diaper genie away. So it was kind of sad putting all that stuff away. And then I had to get rid of like half of her dresser because it was all um, zero to three months and she just doesn't fit in it anymore. So um, I'm sorry. There's a hair or something bothering me. Probably a cat hair or dog hair. Um, but anyway, so what else can I tell you? Oh, we... And I'm actually documenting it because it's this week we started it. Um, I don't know if you want to call it crib training or sleep training or whatever, but um, I used the taking care of babies, the newborn sleep class because Oakland would not sleep at night. And at eight weeks we purchased that and it was amazing. I highly recommend that to anybody that their baby is fussy or will not sleep definitely purchased that because it was a life changer um that totally worked so I knew I was telling myself I don't know why but I just said you know when she's five months old I feel like that's when we could like put her in the crib and um we had tried putting her in the crib and the bassinet a few times more than a few times and she just hated it she would scream she wouldn't be able to sleep so she slept up until Saturday night in the dog tot in the bed with us and I said that when I became a mom I would never do that because I just feel like co-sleeping is just I don't know like I didn't I just didn't like it I just thought they need to have their own space well <laughs> she would not sleep unless she was in that dog tot and we would even try putting, I know you're not supposed to do that either, but putting the dog tot inside of the halo bassinet because it fits. Like even that she wouldn't, she just didn't like it. So um, she slept in the dog tot in our bed with us and um, up until two days ago. So we um, are doing the ABCs of sleep from taking care of babies. And we started it Sunday night. We watched all her videos and started it Sunday night. So she slept in her crib for two nights now and she did, she's not, the first night she did really well. She woke up crying, um, I think once throughout the night and I fed her and she went back to sleep. Um, she cried for the first half an hour and then she put herself to sleep. And, um, but then last night she was crying like, about every hour but she's crying in her sleep so I don't even know what that's about if that's normal but she's like asleep while she's crying but obviously it woke us up because her nursery is right across from ours um from our bedroom but she yeah she's in her crib last night it only took her 15 minutes to put herself to sleep so that was really good um, I'm hoping that tonight will go just as well but I'm documenting every single day about how this is going but she does say that it takes um you have to commit for 14 days and then should be good to go and they should be sleeping between 11 and 12 hours so um she has been sleeping well in the dock top but now that we're you know transitioning her to the crib obviously she's not sleeping as well but she did really good the first night last night was a little iffy 
I'm hoping tonight goes really well. Um, I feel pretty good. I thought I would be like super tired, but um, I'm not, so that's good. But yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I told you she's rolling, she's laughing, she's giggling, she's in the bathtub now, she's kicking her feet in the water, it's so cute. Um, she recognizes everybody now, like when my parents pick her up from daycare, she knows them. Um, she knows our family. Um, she likes t to watch the dog. Dog's not really into her, but um, he just, I don't know, has no interest in her. He'll like sit by her, but um, he doesn't like watch her or anything, but she watches him, it's so funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that might be all I have to update you with. Um, just the major things where she's rolling over, she can now have food, um, some baby food, and she is now transitioning into her crib. So, yeah, hopefully you liked this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'd love to have you. Um, I'm really close to a thousand subscribers. That has been my goal for quite a while now. Um, I'm about at 900, so I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Um, and if you have any um, video suggestions you want, leave them down below. Like I said, I'm doing the crib training um, video. I also have another clothing haul for like spring and summer clothes that I just recently purchased. Um, yeah, I have a couple other videos. I was going to do a video on um, baby products that either I didn't use or didn't like because I did one that of products that we really like and use every single day. So I think I might do one of the stuff that um, I bought and we didn't actually use or we just didn't like. So yeah, anyways, I will see you in my next video. Bye!